Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Zach Sopak. Today I'm gonna show you how to make your photos pop and stand out inside of Adobe Lightroom with two two simple sliders, that is Clarity and Dehaze. These two sliders are extremely effective. I use them on every single edit that I put together inside of Lightroom, and I wanna show you how you can make your photos pop. So let's get into it. One thing that I'm gonna do before we get started with the sliders is I'm going to add a preset. Now presets are not necessary to make your photos pop. You don't even need a preset to edit your photos properly. In fact, you should probably learn how to edit without a preset, but if you are interested in presets or if you're interested in the edits that you see in this video, I just recently released my own preset pack. There's a link down below in the video description, but feel no pressure to check it out. It's just there in case you know, you're interested. So let's go ahead and jump into Adobe Lightroom. This is our first raw image here of yours truly. This is the complete raw unedited version of the photo. I'm gonna show you now what it looks like with a little bit of exposure adjustment and one of my presets. And this is where we are. Now this is a pretty good starting point. This would honestly be good enough to post onto social media, but I'm gonna do a little bit more to see how we can make this thing pop. The first slider that I'm gonna to use to make this photo pop even more is Clarity. Now Clarity is really cool because it accentuates the high highlights and the dark points of your image. So let's go ahead and add some clarity and you can see we have some texture coming out. You see the high points and the low points starting to come up in the image, starting to desaturate a little bit. Just for an example, don't be this person, but just for an example, I'm gonna show you what it is at 100%. Pretty extreme. I'm sure you've seen some people who do this. Don't be that person. But if you want to, you know, go ahead and do that. <laughs> so this is clarity at about zero. Let's go ahead and add a little bit of clarity. You see a little bit of it at the before and when we add the clarity back in. Just really helps to make it pop and stand out. And it really helps to add a nice, unique contrast to your image. Now, since it does desaturate a little bit, I'll probably compensate by adding in a little bit more vibrance and a little bit of saturation. Now let's take a look at the before image, before we added the preset, before we messed with the clarity at all, and now, Boom, with the preset, with the clarity added, this thing looks really great. And I'd say it's now ready to go post to social to stand out. Moving on to the second image, I'm gonna show you how to use the dehaze slider. Now I love the dehaze slider. As the name suggests, it helps to dehaze your image. So if you have a very soft image, if you've got fog, or in this scenario, if you have an image where the light is entering the lens and it's reducing the contrast of it, the dehaze slider is going to work wonders to bring that thing back to life. So here we have a raw photo and I went ahead and added one of my presets and it's just, it's black. It's not really the best thing right now, but just check out what happens when you add in the dehaze slider. It's gonna really bring this thing back to life. So we're gonna go take it from zero and now as we bring it up, it just really starts to bring back that life. We're adding in that micro contrast. We're starting to add a little bit more saturation into the image and it's helping it to stand out quite a bit more. So I went ahead and warmed up things just a tad and I adjusted the exposure just a little bit to get it to the place where I want it. But just check out the difference that this slider made. So this here is our raw image before, no presets, no dehaze, no nothing. It's flat, just kind of meh. Check this out. It's like a whole new thing. It's like that dehaze slider just brought everything back to life. And now it's got punch, it's got vibrance in the colors, and this thing stands out beautifully. Well, hey, I hope you got some value out of this video and that it helped you out in some way, shape, or form. And if you did give value, why don't you go ahead and hit that like button, it really helps out. And also consider subscribing to this channel for more regular content just like this. And don't forget to hit that bell icon, you know, so that way you never miss out anytime I post a new video. And as I mentioned before, I do have presets linked down in the video description if you wanna check them out. And if not, that's totally fine. We can still be friends. That's awesome. <laughs> My name is Zach Sopak. I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Peace.